My name is Brooks Wicker. I'm a small businessman. I'm a CPA, financial advisor. I've lived in Louisville for 26 years. During those 26 years, I've either been running businesses, owning businesses, or coaching and consulting businesses and their owners. I've been a top level executive in five different industries. So I understand the challenges that small businesses, by far the largest creator of jobs in our economy, face. I've been married for 27 years. I have a 16-year-old son who attends Trinity High School. My son is a big part of the reason I'm here talking to you today. He's only 16 years old, and yet his share of our national debt is more than $180,000. $180,000, and that number is going up every day, not just for him, but for each of you. The second reason I'm here is that over the past two years, too many of my clients have been coming, in, coming into my office actually afraid, not just for themselves and their future, but for the future of our country. It's time for this to change. We must create more jobs to get our economy moving. I might be willing to make one exception, and that's Mr. Yarmouth's job. I plan to bring him home. Yeah. As a financial advisor to small businesses, I know that the best way to create jobs is to first create wealth. Never in my 27 years have I seen a poor man give someone a job? Yet everything we see coming out of Washington is destined to destroy wealth, not create it. You don't create wealth by taking it from those who have worked hard to acquire it and spreading it around to everyone else. It's time for this to change. As a CPA, I know that income taxation is the greatest detriment to the creation of wealth that exists in our country today. So the first thing we need to do is reform and simplify our tax code to encourage actions that create wealth and thus jobs. Not to punish those who have worked hard and been successful. The bill that just passed layers on several more layers of com complication to an already complex tax code. Now, as a CPA, I make a pretty good living off of a complex tax code. But it's time for this to change. It's time for John Yarmouth to come home. Yay! It's time to bring John Yarmouth home because he's already cost Louisville 750 jobs in Humana with his support of the Pelosi health care plan. Now he's voted to cost us even more jobs with the support of the Reed health care plan. It's time to bring John Yarmouth home before he can vote again for cap-and-trade legislation which would destroy Kentucky's economy. It's time to bring John Yarmouth home because we simply cannot afford his voting record. As a CPA and financial advisor, I know that you cannot spend your way out of bankruptcy, but you sure can spend your way into it and Mr. Yarmouth has never met a spending bill he didn't like. It's time to bring John Yarmouth home before he can attempt to amend our Constitution to take away your Second Amendment rights, which is one of his stated goals. It's time the people of Louisville own this seat, not Nancy Pelosi. There are two big questions that face you in this primary. One is, who in this race has the experience in the background that we so desperately need in these troubling economic and financial times? The second question is, who can bring John Yarmouth home? Well, I tell you what, I think I'm the guy that can bring John Yarmouth home. Please go to my website, brookswicker.com. Look at my positions. Learned a little bit more about me, and I think you'll agree that I'm the man to bring John Yarmouth home in November. My name is Brooks Wicker. 
I need your support and I need your vote. Thank you very much.